<laughs> Hi guys, Chef Mick, Cooking for the Boys Live. Welcome to a whole new season. All right, this season we are concentrating on hotel cooking. Why? Because I'm living in a hotel right now. <laughs> okay, we are at a residence inn. It does not matter where, we are at a residence inn. So they have some very nice amenities, including full-size refrigerator. Some limitations, including, check this out. Two stovetop burners, microwave oven. That's it. All our cooking on stovetop burners, microwave oven. Simple. Series is for you guys that are on the road this summer, chasing your favorite uh, amusement park, working and having to be away from home. You don't always want to eat that fast food. It does get expensive. This is going to show you some quick and easy, good homemade meals. All right, now let's not be full. You don't have to carry your kitchen with you. I'm going to use everything that came with this residence in, but every once in a while you're going to have to buy a spice or two, maybe some oil, okay? So are you all ready for this? <laughs> Let's get started. All right, <clears throat> today's meal. We're going to have pork chops, we're going to have some corn, and we're going to have some potato. Now, I always say let's get started with what takes the longest. What's going to take a little long this time is going to be our potato. All right, this is just a basic potato. It's already been washed. Now, I want to cut it up into quarters and serve it as uh, slices, okay? But I don't want to have it on this burner for so long that it's going to get too brown and too smoky for us. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put a little bit of oil. We're going to wrap it in plastic wrap, and we're going to throw it in the microwave. And that's going to get it cooking on the inside. Then we can cut it up throw it on here and brown it on the outside. It's getting nice and crispy, but cooked all the way through. No worries at all. So why don't we get started on that? First of all, a little bit of plastic wrap. Like I said, sometimes you're gonna have to uh, buy one or two things that you don't normally carry with you guys on vacation. All right, a little bit of plastic wrap. Potato. This happens to be some extra virgin olive oil. I'm just doing it on the outside. I didn't cut it open. I didn't do anything else to it. Uh, people do say you should make a hole or two in it, so look at this. After all, a long time ago, the potato exploded on somebody, and from there on, everybody in the world believes that you should have uh, holes in your potato so it doesn't blow up, okay? Four minutes, guys. Four minutes, just on high, and all right. Learn how to use a microwave in your apartment, in your hotel. So, what else are we going to do? Well, before we hit to the pork chops, we're going to do some corn. Now, I bought fresh corn, and then I peeled it, obviously. So we got to this. Okay? This is a knife that came with the hotel. It's a knife I'm going to use, even though I have my own equipment and my own knife here. This is something cool, guys. All right? Let's cut all the way through. Yes, you're gonna, it may take a little strength for some of y'all, like me. Ah, there you go. <laughs> and then let's do this a couple of times. Please, please, please. Don't get your finger stuck under here trying to do this. Everything's with our palms open on top and pressing down. See? Yes, it gets a little hard. If you can buy small things of frozen corn, that might work better for you. Okay? And you won't worry about the last part that fell on the floor. So, we turn on. We turn it on high. We need some oil in here. You can go with olive oil, or if you prefer, a little bit of canola oil. Canola oil will last longer. It has a higher smoking point so that it doesn't burn right away. Now, the corn in there is going to be just fine, but, but you can add other things to it. In this case, we're going to throw a little bit of tomato in there, okay? I'm going to use yellow and red tomato, move this out of the way. I'm also going to throw some butter in there. Now this happens to be Smart Balance, uh, something we started using a long time ago. For our son who is a vegan, something that he can have, and uh, we just kept up with it. So throw some of that in there. 
doesn't hurt. The flavors of the corn is really nice. Let's cut up, excuse me, let's cut up the tomatoes. Bum, bum, bum. Again, using our hotel knife. Thank you, hotel, for providing a knife. Now, the tomatoes can be cut any way you want. These are small vine tomatoes, and you'll see that they're not very big, so I don't have to cut them very much smaller. In fact, that's all I'm going to do to them. Okay? And that's all I'm going to do. So we have tomatoes sliced. We have corn. This is a jalapeno that's been sitting out here for quite a while. Hold on. I don't want this to pop on me. I'm going to throw some jalapeno in there because I myself like the heat. Okay? Hey! Okay, that thing's trying to pop on me, so you guys be careful. Cover it up to protect yourself if you have to. <laughs> and here we go, guys. Okay? Corn. Let the corn cook for a little while if you like. Just like this. Turn this down a little bit. Let the corn cook. Do not forget, do not forget a little bit of salt. You can put salt on here, on these guys, and certainly salt on these on the corn here. And a little bit of pepper, except, oh, here it is. Salt and pepper, right? Pepper will go in the corn over here. All right, so we got our corn going along just fine right here, protecting it a little bit. We've got this ready. Let's put this aside into a little bowl. Where's my bowl? Okay. This will join the corn in a little while after we've had the corn cooking for a little bit. And guess what? Four minutes are up. So guess what that means? That means our potatoes are ready to go. So why don't we get our potato out? Now remember, we're not baking it all the way through. We're just getting it to where we can use it again. And our potato needs to be needs to come out of that plastic wrap. So, be careful. Nice and hot. This is hot. The plastic wrap is nice and hot. Now, we're going to cook the potato back here on the back burner. So let's go ahead and throw some oil back there. Again, I'm going to use canola oil. I need it to get hot without smoking too much. And all we're really doing is coating the bottom of that pan. Guys, all we're doing is coating the bottom of the pan with the oil. You can see this pan gets a lot of use from me. Now let's get it started. The oil is going to heat up there. Let's move our corn around a little bit. Spoon that comes with the hotel. There we go. All right. I'm going to turn the corn down because right now the corn is on a on a medium. I want to put it low and give it some time. I've got time for it. So we're still making the potato. So the corn has plenty of time to cook. And let's turn it over and turn it around. <laughs> now, this is how I want to do potatoes today. Alright, let's cut it down the middle. This is not the world's greatest knife. Ugh. Oh, and the potato's hot, in case you're wondering. Yes, the potato's hot on my hands. Okay. <laughs> so let's cut like this. Okay, let's cut it like this. Watch. There's one. There's one. So basically what we have are six chunks of tomato out of one tomato. Now, this pan back here is big enough. It's hot right now. It's getting hot. And that's what we're going to That's what we're gonna put tomato, the potatoes on. And what are we going to do with this? Ah, a little bit of salt. Okay. Salt. Do you want to throw butter in there? Of course you do. That's up to you though. Now remember, this isn't a baked potato, so we are trying to fry it up a little bit. So we do want that, we do want it to get hot in there. And then we want to drop these in and let them fry up for a few minutes. Remember our tomato? Remember our jalapeno? It goes in here. Ready to go. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now this actually comes with a small lid, so let me find my small lid. Boom, small lid. Now this is in here, frying up nice. The heat back here is getting ready for our potatoes. Ah, this one's trying to fall apart on me. Okay. Let's 
And there you go. Six potatoes back there, ready to go. I'll throw that in there just because I know it's going to taste good later. So, when the potatoes are ready, we need to use that same pan for the pork chops. So why don't we look at the pork chops. All right, these are our pork chops. These are happen to be a thick cut, so they're going to cook a little bit longer, but that's all right. I'm only going to do one right now. Uh, my wife's not home from work yet, so I'm only going to worry about myself right now. How's that? How terrible of me. That's a terrible thing to say, Rick. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, like everything else, we want to put a little bit of oil. Why don't we go with a little bit of olive oil? This is actually very simple. Okay, guys? Olive oil, either side of it. Olive oil, olive oil. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, you can go with a salt, pepper, garlic powder, uh, chili powder, whatever it is you prefer. This happens to be a special mix that I carry with me. Okay? It happens to already have salt, pepper, garlic powder, maybe a little bit of comino, maybe a little bit of chili powder. That's not the point. The point is, you spice yours your way, I spice mine my way. Okay? So, pork chop, ready to go. It's ready to go when potatoes come out. So, why are we waiting on potatoes? Because we first microwave the potato, then we put it in to fry up a little bit. So actually the potato is, as you could tell when I was cutting it, most of it was already cooked. Not all of it, but most of it was. Now, also, spatula comes with the hotel room. Okay? But now in here, let me show, let me show you this, guys. Okay? In here, we have potatoes. We just turn them over. We just turn them over, okay, placing on the other side, let them get cooked up a little bit more, put them back out here, good to go. How's the corn going? Oh, the, oh look at that, beautiful, the corn, the potato, um, the potato, the corn, the tomato, and the uh, jalapeno, that's a wonderful side dish. All right, so. What have we learned so far? Well, we learned that potato goes in the microwave for four minutes. Okay, you put a little bit of oil around it, it's okay. Put a couple of holes in it if you don't want it to blow up because it blew, blew up on somebody one day a long time ago. The corn might be easier if you buy small, small uh, cob, coblets or whatever they're called in the frozen section and defrost them. I bought it fresh. I used the hotel knife. It's a tough knife to use. I have a, a bigger knife that I could have used, but I'm trying to show you what it looks like to cook in a hotel. And basically, this is going to be the meal. Okay? The, the, the pork chop. And let me show you something, guys. I'm going to try to let's see if I can't show it to you a little bit better this time. Let's try to show a little bit better. Let's move this stuff here so that I can put this down here. Look. Look at this. You see how wonderful and brown that is? Now, here's what you're saying. You're saying, okay, how long do I want to keep them in there? You want to keep them in as long as you're comfortable keeping them in. But guess what I'm going to do, guys? That's right. Okay, I am going to move it aside. I'm going to put it back here. And I am going to cook my pork chop right there. Now the pork chop's already cooking. Now, now we have the entire meal that's going to go on our plate, we already have it on the stove and ready to go. Not much longer now, as you can see, not much longer for us. Turn that off, I've got, now I just need a plate. I need a plate. The plate that came with the hotel, obviously. So, what do we have cooking here? Here, let me put this over here, here, we have corn, tomatoes, Oh, look at this stuff, look. Corn, tomatoes, and jalapenos, right there. I'm gonna turn this off as a matter of fact, okay? Corn, tomatoes, and jalapeno. All right, now, if you feel like, if you feel like you need a little bit more 
spice to it, you can spice it again. Salt and pepper, however it is you do, however it is you take it. Back here, we're gonna flip this beautiful, and I didn't even ow. I didn't hurt myself, don't worry about it. I just like to say ow when I spill things. I do mean beautiful pork chop. Alright. The pork chop and potatoes are about to finish up. I have the uh, corn with the tomatoes and the jalapeno ready. This, guys, is going to be a great, a great meal, homemade in the hotel. We're cooking it as we're speaking to you. So you can see, we've only been doing this part of it for the last 14 and a half minutes. This is basically under 20 minutes here. And you're going to have food out for you, your, your family, who, however many you need to cook for. You can get it all done in that time, have a great homemade meal at a great price, and stay in the hotel. That's what this show is all about. This season is all about hotel cooking. Yes, I did have to buy some spices. Yes, I do have a little bit more stuff than most people carry with them on their kitchen because, well, I'm a chef and I like to carry my own stuff everywhere. That's just how things work. All right, why don't we take a look at what's over here cooking. One more look here. Woo -hoo -hoo -wee. So, here we are. Here we are. Why don't we put down a potato here and another potato right there. Look at those potatoes. And now, My wife is going to want me to cook that a little bit longer, and that's fine. I'm going to after we go off the air here. But basically, guys, you cook the pork chop to what you like it. There's our corn and tomatoes. There's our beautiful, look at those beautiful potatoes. And there's our beautiful seasoned pork chop. My name is Chef Mick. This is... Oh, there's a bright light. <laughs> this is Cooking for the Boys Live. Oh my gosh, look at all those lambs back there. Must be my wife's doing. Guys, have a good day. And remember, if you know how to cook, you can marry for looks. We'll see you next time. Bye.